Just outside the village of Cliffany in County Sligo is Creevy Keel Court Cairn. At one time within local folklore, the structure had an ominous and even terrifying reputation among the local community and was known for strange lights and other paranormal activity. Although these began to vanish after a team from Harvard University in the United States excavated the cairn back in the 1930s. Although as late as 1979, a local gentleman called Jared Kyo noted that he saw lights coming from it inside the tomb. And the only explanation he could offer was that it was the little people or the she. It was known locally that this was the property of the fairies. At the time, it was much more covered in trees than it is now, as the modern structure is open to the public and easily accessible, and far less daunting to visit. Even so, Creevy Keel Court Cairn represents one of the best preserved court cairns in Ireland. Court cairns are specific to a certain latitude in Ireland, if you draw a line between Galway and Dublin and head north, that part of the country is where court cairns are found. Previously, these were known as horned cairns. And this may be a more accurate description if indeed these structures are pertaining to some kind of ritualistic bull cult and the forecourt of the cairns representing something of a stylized representation of a bull with the back of its skull tapered. The Irish name for Creevy Keel is Cashlon Brishogid, which means literally the castle of the enchanted. It was only catalogued as late as 1909 and it was an immense pile of stone, very overgrown and, like so many in this part of Ireland, were referred to as a giant's grave. When the Harvard researchers, led by H. O'Neill Hecken, excavated the site in 1935, they also took the admirable recourse of talking to locals in order to get folklore regarding the mound within the local area. One eight-year-old man told Hecken that the then fallen lintel stone, which appears to have been knocked over in 1909, once stood erect on one edge and supporting another stone. There was also a prophecy that the stone would be thrown down by three brothers, and indeed Hecken had confirmed three brothers did indeed topple the lintel stone. Today, even with this slight alteration to its design, Creevy Keel is known as one of the best core tombs in Ireland. It is a complex and a multi-purpose structure, the earliest parts dating from perhaps the late Neolithic or earlier, 2500 BC, that date well loved by antiquarians and modern archaeologists. Certainly there were modifications and usage of the site going on as late as the early Christian period. The wedge shape of the cairn giving it distinctive shape is originally 180 feet in length and 82 feet wide at the entrance with a 49 foot impressive oval shaped court. The oval shaped court has been well recognized even today for having certain acoustic properties. At the western end of the court there are two large orthostats or jam stones supporting a massive lintel to form a portal to the first of the two internal chambers. In Hecken's 1939 plan, both were covered with a corbelled roof construction. So as we see them today, opened up to the sky is not how they originally were constructed. These were galleries inside chambers. Interestingly, to the west of the gallery are three subsidiary chambers each opening to the exterior of the larger structure, two to the south and one to the north. They were also once covered by the entire structure of the cairn and are believed to be from the same Neolithic period of 2500 BC or perhaps earlier. The two main internal chambers of the gallery did reveal evidence of some cremated bones. In the other chambers, pottery, quartz crystal and a stone bead was found in the smaller chambers. 
One of the strangest and puzzling, if not annoying, aspects of Creevy Keel is an early Christian construction which appears to be a metal smelting foundry within the court area of the structure itself. There are three hearts at the end of the court and would certainly give rise to the belief that this area itself had a certain magical quality of any swords or other metal implements and tools constructed and forged there would be also likewise containing of this magical power. When visiting the site on a sunny day, Creevy Kale tends to be welcoming and opening, but having visited several times in the evening and the late morning, it definitely takes on a far more deeper and evocative, if not ethereal nature to it, its overall energetic sensation, which it imparts upon the visitor. I myself have never seen any strange lights there. I have, in the evenings, felt some rather strange sensations, particularly in the court area at the front of the monument. Concerning the original name of these structures as horn cairns, leads one to speculate that perhaps in Neolithic times, cows and bulls were richly slaughtered within the court area perhaps as some offering to an entity or a god which existed inside the two chambers at the back involving blood magic around this bull veneration cult. Although these structures are officially known as tombs, there is very little to indicate that they were designed for this purpose, although they may have been used by much later cultures as burial chambers. Creevy Keel today still contains much of its mystery, if not at sunset and sunrise, the more magical, ethereal and perhaps paranormal aspects of its reputation remains with us to this day.